ventilations, 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 hey. Do we have a Franny here? Yes, we have a Franny here. Franny where? Franny here. <laughs> What's good guys, it's Friendlations here from my 23rd Jordan video. Uh, I definitely think it's pretty cool that this is the 23rd uh, Jordan video considering that's his number. And I got a really special video for you guys today. Uh, these first two shoes were actually sent to me by Jordan Brand. Uh, I should be sending, uh, I should be receiving uh, more shoes from them throughout the year, so definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, let's get into this first shoe. Now as, you, as you'll see, like they're not labeled, these boxes or anything, it just has uh, post-it notes. The first one says flight, and the other one says Frontalation 7, my shoe size. Um, I've been wearing these all day today, really comfortable. And this is one of the Team Jordan shoes. Uh, I looked it up on Soul Collector, and they are um, supposed to be releasing this month. I don't know if they're already out or about to come out. Anyways, really cool shoe. Um, definitely see inspiration from, from the 12, yet an updated fill with the Flywire and then the outsole of the uh, 2011. So let's get into it, starting with the outsole. You've got a clear outsole with a red jump man. The uh, clear outsole has that blue tint to it with the elephant print on it. On it. The midsole is red with a gridded-like fill. Once again, very much like the uh, 2011. You actually have a really nice red tumble le leather that wraps around the bottom of the shoe, up the top eyelids, and around the uh, uh, inner or like medial, medial side of the shoe. Then you have a black base for most of the upper. It has fly wire through it, a very large jump man. Um, the fly wire hit is also on the back of the shoe and there's a little bit of a uh, red plastic uh, separating the leather and the fly wire. Um, the inner liner is a pretty soft material. It's got a quilted feel to it. The tongue itself has new buck hits um, and then also mesh on the sides of it. You get your red jump man stitched in. If I remember correctly, is this the shoe? Yeah, it also has a pretty cool little detail here where the new buck cuts out and you see some mesh, and that goes on the opposite side as well. Um, the insole is black with the red jump man. Definitely a pretty cool uh, shoe. Like I said, it reminds me a little bit of 10 or the 12 mixed with a little bit of fly wire, so pretty cool right there. Now, this next shoe, um, I looked it up once again on Soul Collector and uh, this model should be coming out next month. It's called the Big Up, I want to say, Big Ups. Um, but this colorway, however, will not. This is the whole gray colorway. Um, the extra laces that come with it, which I found kind of weird because, I mean, at least the numbered series don't usually come with extra laces, but hey, not complaining. Uh, black laces on it, white laces already put in. Now, on the inside, I will show you guys a picture of this. It does say a uh, promo sample. So, um, pretty cool little touch on that. Anyways, let's get into the shoe. You got black and gray bottom with the white jump man, a black 360 air bubble with the white midsole. Now, this shoe definitely has a cool mix of materials. You got the uh, uh, patent leather toe box with the new buck hit just above that. Then you have a new buck mixed with a like um, like a satin type material. So it, it just coordinates between the two. Um, pretty cool look. You got that easy lace system on it, much like the MX95. Um, plastic uh, black eyelets at the top. You got black new book on the back and on the tongue. Mesh under that with the white um, Jumpman stitched in. It does have um, heel pods on the inside that are black, much like the Dunk Lows have, um, or at least the Dunk Low SBs have. You have a great insole with the white Jumpman. So there is that. Once again, this colorway is not going to be released, but um, the shoe is, so look forward to it in stores next month and the month after that. Uh, I believe box price on these will be $150 and box price on these is $120. So definitely hit up your local uh, champs, foot lockers, and, and all that good stuff for those. Now, this is definitely a heat pickup right here. These were only released in Tokyo this year. Um, there was another five that was released. In Europe, those are the Kwai 54s. Um, these are the Tokyo 23 and Jordan 5. I like them a lot online. I saw pictures, but I like them way more in person. The colorway is amazing. The quality is nice. 
So let's get into it. Um, this is actually my first time pulling out this shoe and I looked at the other side of it. You got white extra laces with a uh, Japanese uh, Nike tag on it. Let's get right to the outsole. You got a gray hit right here with the clear um, outsole, yellow Jumpman, black hit right there, yellow air bubble. Um, you have a white midsole with the yellow, um, yellow speckled uh, flames right there, black hit. Then you have a outline of a 23, which uh, Jay, when he looked at these, he actually thought it looked like a Japanese symbol, which I didn't see until he mentioned it, so that's pretty cool how it is a 23 and it looks like a Japanese symbol. Of course, your clear netting, silver plastic eyelids, black laces, uh, gray, and let's see what the other colors. I'm not seeing a Jumpman on it. I was expecting like a gray and black um, a lace lock, but I don't see any other colors, just gray, black, maybe even a charcoal looking Jumpman and charcoal inside liner. The insole itself has a pretty cool little pattern. It's like different shapes and whatnot. And the colors featured on it are gray, yellow, and black. Black Jumpman on the back. An amazing, amazing shoe. I can't stress enough how good the quality is on this new book. Very soft. Um, definitely happy I picked these up. I'll be showing you what all three of these look like on feet right now. Here's a look at the black and red flights on feet. Definitely a cool looking shoe. Um, like I said, it does definitely remind me of the 12s, just a little bit more updated, I guess. Really cool, I'm sure they're great for basketball. I don't play basketball, so I'll just be wearing these. All right guys, here's a look at the Tokyo 5s on feet. Super loud shoe, really cool, really awesome. Can't wait to pull these out for the first time pretty soon. All right guys, as always, thanks for watching. Um, on the 29th, there's two really big sneaker events going on, one in Vegas and one in LA. Um, King Poetic, uh, Will is setting up a sneaker gathering here in LA. I'm sure you've seen the flyer, it's all over Nice Kicks and all the other uh, shoe websites, um, so there's that. And also, uh, Soul Collector is doing their penny release. It's gonna be a pack of four very limited shoes sold together for $1,000. Um, they do have the Soul Collector logo on it. It is a official Soul Collector Times Nike collaboration, and I gotta admit, they look pretty amazing. So, if anyone's going to that event and picks up a size six, let me know. All right, guys. Um, Till next time. See you later. Make sure like, like, subscribe, and comment. Peace.